सो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्रा जाइए सो गाइज हेयर वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट सो द पी डी एफ फॉर टूडे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग दिस सेशन इन अनदर वन मिनट तो पी डी एफ ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड है और हम लोग जो है इस सेशन को शुरू करने वाले हैं सो सफिशेंट नंबर ऑफ पीपल दे हैव ऑलरेडी ज्वाइन अस Okay let me just share the link with the students Chaliye So Priyanshi Rohit Vaibhav Suvind Priti Vivek Pooja, Shagun, good morning everyone. Let's see what exactly is there for us in today's newspaper. So let's analyze the quote of the day, the statement made by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So he says that you have to have a goal, but you have to have strategies to achieve it as fast as possible. Having goal in our life is important, okay, because first step that you will be taking is having a goal so like you are now opting for this upsc preparation so you have a goal in your mind that you have to clear this exam and you are clear headed about it there are people who are confused about it okay ki life mein karna kya hai so here you have clarity that at least you have to give this attempt you have to prepare for this exam and this is going to be your dream this is what you have in your mind okay goal aapne set kar liya and it is going to direct you now the point is this suppose this is your destination okay this is your destination that is upsc goal you have set and you have started moving in that direction but that direction will have multiple hurdles there is a path that you have to cross there is a journey that you have to carry out to carry out that journey to continue on that path to deal with the challenges you need to have the strategies in your mind so have a strategy that's the most important part in the upsc preparation that you need to be focused about what things you have to study and what not how much preparation you have to do to which particular component you will be giving how much hours a day this is what you have to decide मेन्स के लिए इतनी प्रिपरेशन करनी है प्रीलिम्स के लिए इतनी प्रिपरेशन करनी है आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑल दीज रिक्वायर्स प्रैक्टिस ओके प्रीलिम्स यू नीड टू हैव स्ट्रेटजी फॉर दैट एज वेल बिकॉज द डिमांड ऑफ प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट मेन्स हेयर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट यू नीड टू लर्न द आंसर राइटिंग दैट ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स अ स्ट्रैटेजी प्रिलिम्स के लिए स्ट्रैटेजी मिल गई मेन्स के लिए स्ट्रैटेजी मिल गई आप then mains will have different different subjects so for your optional you need to have different strategy to attempt your essay paper you need to have different strategy to attempt your gs paper 4 you need to have different strategy so you need to be having these things in your mind ye clarity aapko apne paas rakhni hai this is what you need to understand here yahan pe धूल में लाठियां नहीं चलती हैं, ओके यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट थिंग बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आफ्टर गेटिंग इनटू सर्विस यू विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग स्ट्रेटजीज ओनली जब आप ऑफिसर बन जाओगे यू विल बी प्लानिंग थिंग्स सो दैट प्लानिंग पार्ट दैट स्ट्रेटजी डेवलपमेंट पार्ट नीड्स टू बी विजिबल वाइल इन योर प्रिपरेशन एज वेल आपके प्रिपरेशन में भी वो चीज नजर आनी चाहिए सो दिस इज वट डॉक्टर एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम इज सेंग दैट ओके गोल इज फाइन हैव अ गोल it will give you direction and along with that strategies are also important because these strategies will stop the wastage of your energy aapka resource aur aapke energy dono hi waste hone se yahan bachengi so this is the important thing that we need to have okay so strategies banaiye and my strategy may not work for you your strategy may not work for me each one of us have to analyze what are the potentials that we are having what are the strong areas that we have what are the gray areas that we have and accordingly strategize it 
स्ट्रेटेजाइज योर प्रिपरेशन दैट्स द मंत्रा हियर ओके सो आगे बढ़ते हैं अब हम देखते हैं और क्या है हमारे पास ओके सो दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू लर्न नाउ विल मूव टू द एनालिसिस एनालिसिस पार्ट पे चलते हैं सीधा सो अक्टूबर जी एस टी रेवेन्यू क्रोसेज वन पॉइंट फाइव वन लैख करोड़ ओके तो रेवेन्यू काफी अच्छा खासा कलेक्ट हुआ है वन पॉइंट फाइव वन लैख करोड़ नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस वॉट्स द रीजन बिहाइंड इट ओके वी आर सेंग दैट वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख करोड़ इज द रेवेन्यू दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज कलेक्टेड नाउ इफ यू लुक इन टू द पोटेंशियल रीजन वन इज दैट this was the festive time in india people they go for buying multiple things during this particular festive time other point is this you have to understand the nature of indian economy if we look into the global environment agar aap global environment ki baat karenge global economic environment ki baat karenge okay now global economic environment might not be that great we know that we are struggling there is a slow down that is going on okay slow down ho raha hai so slow down is going on it means that export potential will be less aapka export potential kahin na kahin nazar nahi aayega it will be not that effective okay exports ke liye demand hi nahi hogi to kya bana ke bhejoge other point other nature of indian economy is that Indian economy is consumption based economy and no matter how things are done okay in the international sphere still we will be able to survive now why i am saying this if you remember during the 2008 subprime crisis okay at that time as well the, there was a global recession we were able to survive that as well this is the point here okay so at present as well because we have a consumption based economy the demand is there from the indian market only aur aap product bhi zyada tar wahi banate ho jahan pe jo indian market ke liye hai that's the point here okay if you compare indian economy and say chinese economy now chinese economy is majorly export based economy they are exporting a lot but right now they are putting their cities under lockdown so supply chain has been disrupted to so china ki to wo halat chal rahi hai at the same time we are relatively better off okay we are relatively better off and this is the reason that even the world bank is saying this that india is one such island in this particular region which has the potential to contribute to the global economy hum survive kar rahe hain and we are still registering the growth rate of 7% इतने बुरे हालात में सेवन परसेंट का ग्रोथ रेट इन्फ्लेशन इज स्टिल हाई इफ यू कंपेयर द इन्फ्लेशन दैट इज देयर इन इंडिया एंड इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी आर समवेयर सेवन पॉइंट फोर वन परसेंट और ये तो अभी सबसे हाईएस्ट है इससे पहले इट वॉज सिक्स पॉइंट एट थ्री परसेंट ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर सेवन पॉइंट फोर वन इट वॉज द सेप्टेम्बर डेटा इन ऑगस्ट इट वॉज सिक्स पॉइंट एट समथिंग रिलेटिवली इट इज स्टिल मैनेजेबल इफ यू Look into the inflation that is in the European countries. It is in double digit. Abi UK ki halat dekho kya chal rahi hai. Ten percent se upper inflation chal raha hai wahan pe. So we are relatively better off. The other point is this. What's the reason? What's the reason why we are relatively better off? Now you have to remember the time when there was COVID. COVID aa gaya. different countries they had a different approach to deal with the covid the impact of covid on the economy sub countries ki alag alag approach thi those western countries they gave money in the hands of people logo ke haathon mein paise diye unhone okay so that demand should pick up ki demand pick up ho jayegi now there was more circulation of money in the economy आपकी इकोनॉमी में ज्यादा पैसा चला गया ओके डायरेक्टली लोगों के हाथों में दे रहे हो आप कंट्रेरी टू दैट वी डिडेंट गो फॉर द सेम पर्टिकुलर पाथ इंडियन इकोनॉमिस द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वी वर रैशनल विद द अप्रोच एंड द आत्मनिर्भर पैकेज दैट वी हैड दैट वाज टू असिस्ट द इंडस्ट्री वो प्राइमरीली हमने इंडस्ट्री को सपोर्ट करने के लिए किया था दैट वॉज to assist the industry that's the point here ye cheez samajhna zaruri hai yahan pe okay this is the important point here 
तभी इंडिया के अंदर आज इन्फ्लेशन ज्यादा नहीं है क्योंकि इकोनॉमी में मनी सप्लाई उतनी ज्यादा पंप ही नहीं किया आपने आपने इंडस्ट्रीज की हेल्प की सो दैट दे कैन सस्टेन एंड यू फैसिलिटेटेड द लोन अरेंजमेंट फ्री में किसी को पैसा नहीं दिया इट वॉज अ इट वॉज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लोन दैट वॉज द पॉइंट हेयर सो वी डिड इट इन अ बेटर वे वी मैनेज द कोविड सिचुएशन वे बेटर देन दीज वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज एंड हेयर वी आर रिलेटिवली बेटर ऑफ देन दो ये चीज समझना जरूरी है देयर वी वर क्वाइट राइट अबाउट द सिस्टम ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आगे चलते हैं सो हेयर वी हैव द अदर न्यूज ऑन द फ्रंट पेज इट सेल्फ ओके विच इज टॉकिंग अबाउट रिमोट वोट फैसिलिटी फॉर एन आर आईज गवर्नमेंट इज टेलिंग दिस टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट नाउ दे आर डिबेटिंग दिस शुड वी अलाउ एन आर आईज टू वोट बिकॉज राइट नाउ दे आर अलाउड टू वोट बट दे कैन ओनली वोट आफ्टर कमिंग टू देयर कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी ओके जिस जगह वो रजिस्टर्ड वोटर हैं वहीं पे आके वोट डाल सकते हैं इंडिया में आके डालना पड़ेगा दैट्स द अरेंजमेंट नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस द पॉइंट इज दिस ओके व्हाट्स द इश्यू विद दिस बिकॉज राइट नाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मोदी जी इज कैरिंग आउट कैंपेनिंग इन आउटसाइड कंट्रीज एज वेल ओके हाउ डी माउडी आई होप यू रिमेंबर ही वेंट टू वेस्ट एशिया अरब नेशन देर ऑल्सो ही एड्रेस द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन ओके so the point is this people who are abroad they are significant vote bank they can seriously influence the result of an election kisi bhi election ka result jo hai wo log influence kar sakte hain they are having that potential and number of nris in india means outside india the number is more than 1 crore more than 1 crore people are living abroad now 1 crore voters it's a significant number so that's the right step that government is thinking to provide them the voting rights that there will be multiple arrangements that government may be exploring okay one is that they are saying that proxy voting ki proxy voting ka provision leke aayenge okay now for people who are abroad they are facilitating something like that the major issue will be what about the immigrants that we have within india there are lot of migrants within india who are traveling from one state to other there are lot of people who are moving out of bihar up and they are working in some other place what about their voting rights aap nris ko to facilitate kar rahe ho aap apni local population ko facilitate kyon nahi kar rahe that a resident and elected you can say a registered voter from up should also be given this right of proxy voting log india mein bhi to idhar udhar move kar rahe hain there are lot of people who people who are you can say working in bengaluru who are working in ncr region who are working in mumbai what about their voting rights so it means that you are treating indians in a different way you are facilitating nris but not the domestic population that's the problem here this is what also needs to be debated so right now this debate is on and government is thinking to facilitate the proxy votes okay because there are lot of indians who are living in different parts of the world and like they are a decisive force in the elector po- electoral politics of india now the point is this government has already stated this to the court that government tried to introduce a bill to amend representation of people act but by that time lok sabha was dissolved and that particular bill lapsed to lok sabha dissolve ho gayi aur wo bill lapse ho gaya so it means that government was already planning something like that and they may come up with something like this again aane wale time mein dobara is type ki koi cheez aa sakti hai okay that was the point so shruti mandal is having this doubt she is saying uh, sir please answer me only honor students can in upsc exam or pass course or general courses students can also give see the requirement for upsc aspirant is a graduate even if you are in third year of your course you are allowed to give this exam you can sit in this exam okay to aap is exam ko definitely de sakte ho so let's move to the editorial section now here this editorial is pointing towards the realities that are there 
द डिबेट रिगार्डिंग इंडियन इकोनॉमी ठीक है इंडियन इकोनॉमी चल रही है इन्फ्लेशन भी है हमारे यहाँ पे रूपी इज डेप्रिशिएटिंग बट रिलेटिवली रूपी इज ऑल्सो स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके इफ यू कंपेयर रूपी विद द अदर यू कैन से करेंसीज दैट आर से पाउंड स्टर्लिंग यूरो वी आर रिलेटिवली इन अ बेटर पोजिशन हम थोड़ी थोड़ी ठीक पोजिशन में है कोई ऐसा समस्या यहाँ पे नजर नहीं आ रही है ठीक है जी ये सिस्टम है नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस इट मीन्स सब अच्छा चल रहा है क्या एवरीथिंग इज गुड इन दिस सिस्टम देर आर सर्टन एरियाज वेयर वी आर लैगिंग बिहाइंड द पॉइंट इज दिस वी आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू द पीपल एंड स्पेसिफिकली एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू द यूथ दैट्स एन आई ओपनर फॉर अस मोदी जी से दैट वी हैव टू रिप डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड भाई कहीं ना कहीं हमें डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड का फायदा उठाना है डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड मीन्स दैट नंबर ऑफ डिपेंडेंट्स इन इंडियन वर्क फोर्स इज लेस इंडियन पॉपुलेशन के अंदर डिपेंडेंट्स का रेशियो कम है डिपेंडेंट मीन्स बच्चे बूढ़े पीपल हु आर अबाउ सिक्सटी ओके एंड पीपल हु आर लेस देन एटीन दे आर ट्रीटेड एज डिपेंडेंट्स now it is being said that in indian population the number of dependents are relatively less your average age is 28 years okay youthful nation hai hamara china aaj 38 years ki age hai china ke andar average okay we are having more energy we are having youth and the point is this you have to channelize that energy so that you can go ahead with the economic development aap us energy ko channelize kar paaye now the point is this this is one aspect if we are not able to provide employment to the youth that youth will become alienated from the government they will lose trust on the system ki bhai sarkar unka koi khayal nahi rakh rahi hai and they may try to divert their energy in a wrong way cases of drug abuse may increase क्राइम रिलेटेड इश्यूज में इंक्रीज लॉ एंड ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी रिजर्वेशन की डिमांड आ जाएगी सो दीज आर द इश्यूज दैट वी हैव टू एड्रेस हेयर सो थिंग्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी दैट स्मूथ एंड दैट्स वाई हेयर इन दिस एडिटोरियल इट इज बींग रेज दैट दिस इज द टाइम दैट वी एड्रेस दीज पर्टिकुलर इशूज बिकॉज आपका जो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट है वो इंक्रीज हो रहा है एंड वी हैव टू बी यू कैन से कंसर्न अबाउट इट सो हेयर देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स दैट आर बीन टोल्ड Let's say that okay, fine. Your inflation is at seven point four one percent. It is high, but relatively it is manageable. बाकियों के हिसाब से थोड़ा manageable है. Indian currency is losing out against dollar, but relatively it is still manageable. बाकी currencies के साथ compare करेंगे तो हम ठीक ठाक चल रहे हैं. That doesn't mean that everything is right in India, because here is the data which says that in October the unemployment rate is quite high. That is seven point eight percent. That's the worrying concept. ये सिर्फ आई ओपनर होना चाहिए आपके लिए इफ यू लुक इन टू द पॉलिसी इंटरवेंशन ओवर द लास्ट सिक्स टू सेवन ईयर्स वी हैव बोथ गुड एंड बैड एग्जाम्पल्स एंड आई विल से दैट द क्राइसिस इज नॉट गोइंग ऑन फ्रॉम लास्ट सिक्स टू सेवन ईयर्स मेरा थोड़ा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू डिफरेंट है ओके आई विल से दैट द क्राइसिस स्टार्टेड वे बैक इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एट with the global crisis with the subprime crisis now the impact of this crisis on indian economy was visible by 2011 acha kaisa impact dikh raha tha your government did carry out some policy intervention we tried to improve the situation pranam mukherjee was the finance minister at that time and he came up with the fiscal package कि भाई ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है tax ko thoda kam kar denge corporates ko thoda benefit de denge we made an effort now effort that was made way back in 2011 it started showing result in 2015 to jo bhi steps liye gaye the unko thoda it takes 2 3 years to produce results for you and things were visible in 2015 after that in 2016 modi ji announced demonetization 2016 mein modi ji ne bola ab se 500 और थाउजेंड रुपीज के नोट लीगल टेंडर नहीं रहेंगे दैट वॉज द स्पीच है गेव ओके 
this impacted the Indian economy. Later on in 2017, GST was introduced. Now implementation of GST was also faulty. Your corporates, your industry was not prepared for that event. Aapki industry uske liye bhi nahi thi. Then came in 2019, where in the late years, late months of 2019, say in December, Corona was just triggering. Corona ana start ho jata hai. And in 2020, Corona was at its peak. So, here the COVID world ki start. Ho jati hai. There was a series of lockdown. Indian economy was absolutely shut. Sab kuch chal raha hai and we had a negative impact of that as well. So, uska impact bhi aapke upar negative pada. Okay? COVID ke se deal kar rahe the. 21 tak. Then came Ukraine-Russia crisis. Tab aage Ukraine-Russia crisis. It is still going on. This is one of the reasons which is again shifting the world towards global recession. Ye reason hai ki aaj bhi hum wapis 2008 ki taraf ja rahe hai. From where the whole thing started. Now they may be saying that in last 6 to 7 years we carried out policy intervention. I am saying this the problem was pre-existing to 2016 even before that as well things were not right. So, in last 15 years, if we observe, multiple things have happened in the economy, in our lives. That's the point here. Things were not that smooth. But still, despite these issues, today we are registering the 7% growth rate. If the global environment is going to be fruitful for us, we may register the double digit growth. Hum zarur register karenge. That's why the whole world is optimistic about India. There is already a debate going on that as China is slowing down, it may not be able to surpass the US economy. China shayad kabhi apne life cycle mein US ko surpass na kar pae. There are reasons for that. It is growing old. US is still drawing talent from the world. Puri dunia se talent US mein jata hai. Kabhi China mein apne jata ho suna hai? No. So US will still survive. There are some favorable factors for United States, but the world is betting right now on Indian economy that we do have the potential to definitely reach up to that level. That is the point here. Okay? So, here we did carry out some go good steps. One was bankruptcy code. Okay? So, we facilitated insol insolvency and bankruptcy code where you can say dying firms, they can just dismantle their business, apna business time pe khatam kar sake, usko humne facilitate kiya. It was a good action. On the other hand, demonetization was the wrong step. It was the mistake. So, we did carry out positives and negative things while you can say going ahead with the policy. But there is one major concern that is still there in Indian economy. That concern is related to the political polarization. Social fragmentation is going on. Okay? intolerance debate that's really a sad scene here because society which are disturbed society which are having multiple issues investor is not going to invest in that area investor ko ye lagega anytime the riots can start and as the riots will start his money will be lost so you have to create that conducive environment for investment and that also includes having social harmony Social harmony rakhna bhi hamare liye zaruri hai. This is also critical for investment here. So, we need to work upon these ideas as well. In chizo ke upar bhi hame yaha pe kaam karna hai. Okay? So, this is what was there in that editorial. Now, we will move to the other one. So, this editorial is saying that the weakest link in the air pollution fight. Okay? So, the point is this. Whatever, whatever schemes that we are running right now to deal with, you can say, air pollution in that institutional arrangement is important. So, institutional arrangement kahin na kahin hamare liye important hai. Institutional arrangement means to fight against air pollution, you have central pollution control board and state pollution control board. Aapke paas central pollution control board hai, state pollution control board hai. Okay? These are the institutions which are existing dedicatedly, dedicatedly to fight against pollution. 
Now the point is this, this editorial is raising a fundamental point that the quality of working in these particular institutions are not that great. Their performance is not that great. That is the point here. So, they are saying that at present these institutions they have been given the responsibility to implement ideas like national clean air program as well as the grant from government under the recommendation of finance commission, but these institutions are not having the capacity. Inko responsibility to badi di gai hai ki finance commission ne recommend kiya ki more grants should be given to the you can say states or state pollution control board will implement you can say will, will use that particular grant, but the point is this these institutions are lacking the capacity that is the point and which is impacting their performance. So, ye perform in kar paayenge highest level pe. Okay. So, this pollution control board it was constituted under prevention and control of pollution act 1974. So, water prevention and Co control of pollution act 1974 ke under state pollution control board banaye gaye the. Now, you have to note it down for your prelims. Ye aapke prelims ke liye bahut kaam ke information hai. Other point is this, later on they were also given the authority to implement air prevention and control of pollution act 1981. Usse bhi mandate mil raha hai inko, but is mandate ka karenge kya if there are issues in that. So, major issue is regarding the composition of these particular boards. One thing is this, they are lagging in expertise. Experts are completely missing. Experts primarily means people who have the scientific knowledge about air pollution. Aise logo ko zaroor dalna chahiye because without their help it will be difficult to handle this. Possible bhi nahi ho paayega aur difficult bohut jyada ho jayega. Now the point that they are raising is this. They are multi member bodies but scientists, medical practitioners they are only 7 percent of the board members. There is a legal mandate that on the board at least two experts should be there who are having knowledge and experience of air quality management. Jin ke paas knowledge or experience of air quality management ka, but majority of these boards are not even having the ability to appoint two scientific experts. Though scientific experts bhi inko nahi milte hain. That's the situation right now. And there there is presence of political leaders as well. In boards pe political leaders ka bhi yaha pe presence ho jata hai. So, in this way it is bit problematic. In this way it is bit saddening. That is the point that you have to understand. So, this is how things are. This is how things are. Okay. So, we need to address these concerns without addressing them. We cannot seriously deal with the you can say air pollution and other issues. Now, the point is this at least 40 percent of sanction posts are vacant, appointments time pe nahi ho rahe. that is the point. How will you improve it? Staff strength is not there, board karega kya? Meeting karte hai, chai pani biscuit khake chale jate hai, solution koi milta nahi hai. So, we need to improve in these areas as well, ye cheez bhi hume yaan pe sudar nahi hai. Okay? So, that was a major point, that was a major point. Let us move to the next you can say news. Next, this is the explained component. They are saying that here we are now establishing a production facility to manufacture C295 aircraft, which is a transport aircraft okay, and majorly used by Indian Air Force. So, Indian Air Force jo hai, is aircraft ko use karti hai. The point is this this is really a good news that we are developing the capacity within India. Ki iski manufacturing facility India mein rahi hai. Why I am saying this, it is a good thing because if you are bringing in these type of things, it is an investment, ye bohut badi hai ek investment hai. Agar aap is type ki cheez leke aate ho, first thing is this technology. Okay. So, that technology will be critical for you because this product will be developed in India, technology might be there from US, like in manufacturing ya hogi, to your engineers will come to learn about this thing. They will be learn, they will be learning these particular technologies. So, it is a really good thing. Other than that, this aircraft will, will be having multiple spare parts. 
so there will be development of ancillary industry around it ek manufacturing unit lagta hai to uske around chote chote ancillary units develop ho jate hain koi pech banayega koi tire banayega that type of industry will also develop so it's a really good thing and job creation definitely <coughs> will be facilitated other point is this this is going to bring huge export potential indian indian civil aviation market is already you can say going ahead with that hum already cheezon ko manufacture kar rahe hain to iska acha khasa export potential bhi hai you can export these aircrafts to different different countries that's the point so this is how things are to be done okay and modi ji has inaugurated this so it's a good thing we'll move to the next news that is related to pleas against poll freebies should be listed before three judge bench soon first thing is this the earlier judgment that we had regarding the freebies was given in 2013 and at that time it was a two judge bench decision so definitely this time if you want to overturn that decision okay so you may you will be having a three judge bench minimum teen judge to hone chahiye yahan pe okay so usse bada bench banega to ye three judge bench ke paas hi case jane wala hai now the debate is regarding what is rational freebies and what are irrational freebies so the basic point is this court has raised concern about the irrational freebies that we have in this country irrationality kaise hoti hai political parties will go ahead with the poll promises okay aur wo promise kya karenge hum aapko tv denge hum aapko pressure cooker denge court is raising a fundamental point here court is saying that you are going ahead with those promises but your economic resource is limited आपके पास इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्स तो लिमिटेड रहने वाला है ना ओके नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस सपोज यू हैव यू आर गोइंग टू स्पेंड थाउजेंड करोर फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ टेलीविजन टेलीविजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पे हजार करोड़ आप खर्च कर रहे हो द पॉइंट इज दिस द पॉइंट इज दिस द सेम थाउजेंड करोर कैन बी यूटिलाइज फॉर हेल्थ सेक्टर एज वेल you can really improve the hospitals in a tremendous way so court is discussing this particular point that if you go ahead with these subsidies freebies the state will end up in bankruptcy state ka diwaliya nikal jayega so we have a peculiar case of punjab now punjab is giving free electricity to the farmers and the finances of punjab are in mess right now halat acche nahi hai wahan pe ओके सैलरीज देने के पैसे नहीं है गवर्नमेंट के पास सो दैट्स द सिचुएशन दैट्स द सिचुएशन दैट्स व्हाई कोर्ट इज डिबेटिंग दिस दैट वी हैव टू डू समथिंग बिकॉज इट्स अ रॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस बट इन द पास्ट जजमेंट दैट वाज सुब्रमण्यम बालाजी जजमेंट द कोर्ट हैड ऑब्जर्व दैट दैट मेकिंग प्रोमिस इज नॉट अ करप्ट प्रैक्टिस अपने इलेक्शन मैनिफेस्टो में आप प्रोमिस बना सकते हो इट इज नॉट अ करप्ट प्रैक्टिस वाई कोर्ट इज सेइंग दिस कोर्ट इज सेइंग दिस दैट वी हैव डीपीएसपी व्हिच सेज दैट इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू इंप्रूव द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग ऑफ द पीपल और यहां पे तो आप स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग बढ़ा रहे हो दैट्स द पॉइंट दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड so freebies may create a situation wherein state government cannot provide basic amenities lekin standard of living to bada rahi hai na so court has said that it cannot be considered as a corrupt activity but court is also pointing out that distribution of freebies undoubtedly influences all people specifically voter voter ko to influence karti hai okay so this is the point court had made in the past so right now that's why again they are debating what is going to be the future aspect of it iska future aspect kya hoga wo ab hame dekhna hai okay so that's the point here that's the point here chaliye we'll move to the next news so here we have this another news at the sco meeting shanghai cooperation organization meeting your you can say uh, external affairs minister he is pointing about few things he is mentioning the belt and road initiative of china 
he is saying that belt and road initiative of china is violating sovereignty and integrity of india okay to ye belt and road initiative sovereignty and integrity ko kaise violate karta hai so you should be knowing this okay so here this is the you can say map of kashmir that we have here now the point is this this is the aksai chin region that is under china okay this particular area is pak occupied kashmir and this belt and road initiative it passes through this area now this particular part which is under the pakistan's occupation india claims this particular area we have a clear cut policy that this particular area belongs to india ki ye india ka part hai okay and pakistan is illegally occupying it and your belt and road initiative is passing through indian territory and that's why it is violating india's sovereignty ki aapka jo ye belt and road initiative hai wo yahan se ja raha hai and it is you can say violating india's sovereignty this is what we have clearly stated here so your external affairs minister it is he is saying that okay yes connectivity is important आजकल इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड में कनेक्टिविटी इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके एंड बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशिएटिव इज फैसिलिटेटिंग दैट कनेक्टिविटी बहुत जगहों पे कनेक्टिविटी ये फैसिलिटेट कर रहा है बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू एंड अप वॉयलेटिंग समवन सोवरेनिटी इसका ये मतलब नहीं है कि आप दूसरों की सोवरेनिटी को वॉयलेट करते रहिए ओके सो दिस इज वॉट हैज बिन क्लियरली स्टेटेड बाय आर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर and here is this map in front of you this is the shanghai cooperation organization map okay so multiple countries are there we need to know them which countries are the member countries though already in 2022 the question has been asked so question to pucha ja chuka hai but still you have to be prepared with that so there are member countries kazakhstan kyrgyzstan tajikistan uzbekistan then you have china india pakistan russia okay china india pakistan russia we raised the connectivity issue your external affairs minister he pointed out that connectivity is a major issue ab india in baki economies ke sath connect kyu nahi ho pata the problem is pakistan now pakistan don't allow transit to india पाकिस्तान इंडिया को ट्रांजिट अलाउ नहीं करता है दैट्स ए कंसर्न इफ पाकिस्तान स्टार्ट्स अलाउिंग ट्रांजिट टू इंडिया वी कैन डेफिनेटली एक्सप्लोर कनेक्टिविटी टू दीज पर्टिकुलर एरियाज सीधा आपकी रोड कनेक्टिविटी हो जाएगी एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू रीप इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स ट्रेड विल बी फैसिलिटेटेड विद दैट सो हेयर इंडिया इज एम्फेसाइजिंग ऑन अदर पॉइंट इंडिया इज सेंग दैट हेयर इन ईरान We have invested in Chah Bahar port. Okay, we have developed the Chah Bahar port, and in the coming months or maybe in next year, Iran will also be upgraded to permanent member. Now, Iran is observer, hai, but its permanent membership is due, and in the coming time, it will be upgraded as a permanent member. And we have invested in Chah Bahar port, so we are saying that this is the time the whole world sh should use this particular route. for connectivity to shanghai cooperation organization countries that's the point here okay so we are saying that humne north south transport corridor banaya hai along with that chabahar port has also been developed by us and this is the time we can explore this route to facilitate trade wo hamara aaj ki date ka focus hai okay and your external minister is pointing out that at present india's bilateral trade with all these you can say sco members is nearly 141 billion now the point is this it means that there is huge potential bahut zyada potential hai we have to utilize that potential okay for that connectivity is important so you have to you can say restore the connectivity aapko yahan pe connectivity badhane ki zarurat hai that's the point here invasive t tree spreading in muddamalai tiger reserve okay so this muddamalai tiger reserve it is located in tamil nadu that's the first information that you will be noting it down okay and the invasive species is sena spectabilis sena 
spectabilis. Now, this was an exotic tree. Exotic tree means this was not naturally grown in Muddamalai Tiger Reserve. This was grown artificially, okay, waha pe plant kiya gaya, and right now it is spreading. So, it was exotic tree, it was planted there for you can say beautification. Beautification ke liye is Muddamalai Tiger Reserve mein this species of tree was planted, but right now it has started acting like an invasive species. Invasive species in the sense it is consuming resources in that area and the native species of that area, jo native plant species hai, they are being impacted. Jo wahan pe naturally grow ho rahe hai, wo cheez impact ho gai hai. So, because we brought this tree artificially, sundarta ke liye, ab wo har jagai failta ja raha hai. It has become a problematic thing, okay. So, that was the news here. We will move to the next. Now, we will look into the analysis, okay. Newspaper in detail, kahi hum ne kuch miss to nahi kar diya. So, we covered this. Editorials were also covered, okay. Editorials bhi hum ne yaha pe cover kar liye. And uh, that was covered. G29, we discussed about it, okay. So, how women subverted the traditional roles during the farm laws agitation. So, that farm laws agitation, it witnessed the women participation as well. So, ye ek major you can say outcome tha uska, which was a positive that it shows that women are also now fighting for their rights. They are there in that struggle. Okay. It is a really good thing. They are participating in the democratic process of the country. Siraf election mein vote dena democratic process nahi hoti hai. Fighting for your rights, peaceful protests and all, all these activities are also part of a democratic system. Okay. So, here women is participating in that. So, it is a really good development, it is a really positive development. Other than that, there is nothing much. So, here for militants killed, okay, so you have to be very, uh, you can say vigilant about these issues. So, law and order needs to be, you can say managed with quite dexterity. So, investment we leke aana hai Kashmir mein and for that you have to eliminate the terrorism there, okay, otherwise investment will not come. So, we already discussed this. So, SCO meet we discussed, okay. Ab aage iske andar, yes, uh, CA is an internal matter of India. Now, this was a major issue, major issue in the sense your politician they made some statement that we will throw these Bangladeshis out, this and that. And at that time, Bangladeshi politicians they were not happy with these statements. So, right now they are saying that Citizenship Amendment Act is India's internal matter, okay. This is not our concern. So, they are quite clear about it. Because multiple times we say that we are going to, you can say, ask those people to go to Bangladesh. Or wo Bangladesh government ki permission ke bina to hoga nahi. Hai na? So, practically it might not be possible, okay. Practically shayad possible na ho pai. So, here we have this news. This is the international page. And uh, Kremlin accuses UK of directing Nord Stream blasts, okay. So, here like I will not relate to this particular news. There was another news that was being floated in the, you can say in multiple western channels, news channels. So, they were saying, they were saying about one thing, ki bhai, there was one British plane, it was a spy plane, okay. It was there in the British territory only, Wo British territory mein tha. One missile was fired on that particular plane, not in, not primarily in the British territory, basically it was in NATO territory, NATO ki territory mein tha, but there was one Russian missile that was fired at that. That missile somehow deliberately missed it or it was a, you can say, pre-planned thing that they will not be targeting that plane or missile saath mein se nikal jayegi, aisa kuch tha, warning ke liye bhi ho sakta hai. It was an eye opener for the NATO countries and it showed that the level of this particular conflict is really on a bad, on a rough, you can say, sport right now. Situation achhi nahi hai. Suppose if that missile would have targeted that plane, okay, it would have meant that NATO plane has been targeted. There would have been retaliation by the NATO forces. This would have further escalated the war. Ye situation chal rahi hai 
So, this is how there is lack of trust between two parties and when they are not trusting each other, it is very difficult to find a solution. Kaise hum is war ko roke? That is why this war is still prolonging because both sides are indulging in these type of activities. Ek responsible nahi hai, dono hi kahi na kahi responsible hai. That is the point here. Okay? So, here is another you can see news in front of you that factory output growth, it has eased out relatively, things are moving in a right direction. Okay? Uh, growth orders, growth picked up. We can understand that demand is still less, but relatively growth order thode jada a rahe hain, toh ek achhi cheez hai. Okay? That was a good development. So, this is what we had in this particular session. So, that is it for the day then. Thank you very much.